Sentencing for the man who pleaded guilty to trying to abduct a child from a Virginia Beach flea market. When all is said and done, he will only be in jail for another six months. Police say Ruben Torres tried to lure a six-year-old boy from the Thalia United Methodist Church parking lot last year. That child's parents saw it all happen, and tonight they're talking only to 10 on your side. Liz Palco joins us now, and Liz, they're not satisfied with that ruling. Nicole Mario Hill feels Torres should have gotten more time, especially for a man who has never explained himself or apologized and has a prior child sex offense record. But I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, this whole experience. This nightmare started for the Hill family November 9th of last year in this Virginia Beach church parking lot, and Mario Hill had to relive it today in a courtroom. She asked Mr. Torres if he had anything to say. He had nothing to say. Not even a sorry. The Virginia Beach Commonwealth's Attorney's Office said 53 year old Ruben Torres pleaded guilty to attempted abduction of Hill's then six year old son. Circuit Court Judge A. Bonwell Shockley sentenced him Tuesday to a year and six months. And he's never went to therapy. So that was basically her guidelines on giving him this, uh, this, uh, this sentencing today. Hill said Judge Shockley brought up therapy because Torres was convicted of raping a child in Massachusetts in 1990. Given his prior record and all he's pleaded guilty to, including guilty of DUI from that morning of November 9th, Hill believes Torres should spend more time in jail, where I interviewed him last year. Instead, the Chesapeake man will most likely walk in six months after serving part of his sentence the last year. So child offenders get away here in Hampton Roads. That's what it tells me as a taxpaying citizen. He should not be out on the streets. Hill says his son still has a long road of healing ahead of him. We don't just go out to the store. We don't have normal activities like other American families that haven't gone through something like this. I thought today was going to bring closure. But it didn't. And to this day, Hill still remembers chasing Torres' car down Virginia Beach Boulevard, reading his license plate off for the police dispatcher. And that's why I contacted you before I leave town because I, I don't want any other father to be on his cell phone running down Virginia Beach Boulevard chasing a pedophile that's, that goes out at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, drunk, looking to steal somebody's kid. We're told the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office is disappointed by today's sentencing. Prosecutors wanted Torres to get the maximum of five years in jail. As for Mario Hill and his family, they don't even live in this area anymore. They moved halfway across the country in order for their son to recover from this experience. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.